Tight end heavy set, two wideouts to the far side. They fake the handoff. Here comes the rush. Scarpa escapes, gets rid of it, has a man open. There goes a big fullback rumbling towards the far side of the field, finally knocked out of bounds. Myers and Montalto to the near side of the field. Scarpa going to go out of the gun here on third and goal from the five. Cran is the tailback. Scarpa drops, looking to throw. Steps up, throws to the left. It is caught the back of the end zone by Myers. Callahan let him go. Looked like a zone look from the Hawks defensively there, but Myers found the soft spot. And the Falcons are on the board late in the first quarter. Third down and five. Can the Hawks' defense get off the field? Scarpa out of the gun. Has time, throws deep down the left side, catch made, plenty of room to run here for Bannerman, and he's going to be dumped up by Callahan, and Bannerman is hurt. So now first and goal from the St. Anselm 7. Second drive of the game for the Falcons. Scarpa connected with Myers for a score on the first drive of the game. Snap to Cran, running to the left side, plowing into the end zone for the touchdown. Big hole off the left tackle there. And George Cran in from seven yards out to make it a 13-7 Bentley lead. Yeah. Another big third down here for the Hawks from their own 35. Gavalis has time, throws quick, in and out of the hands of Manette, and it's intercepted. Coming back the other way is Junior Cherry trying to race through, and he's going to be brought down by the right tackle, Ryan Berry. First turnover of the game. Yeah, as you mentioned, they the reason that they were in the game really to a large extent last week against Westchester because they forced so many turnovers and were able to cash in. Bannerman trying to bounce off the left side, escapes the ankle tackle from Garrett and takes it in to the far corner. 16-yard touchdown run from Martin Bannerman Jr. Scarpa with Bannerman to his left. Four wide receivers out of the gun here on second down and seven from the St. Anselm 46. The give to Bannerman has some room up the middle across the 40, down towards the 30. Finally knocked down by Cloda and a couple of other defensive backs. That was just a straight dive from Bannerman. Hard to not like this kid. I mean, he is just running hard. A lot of dancing at the line here from the Hawks. They do bring the blitz. Scarpa pumps, throws deep, has a man, catch made. Going in for the score is Brendan Burke. A junior from Norristown, Pennsylvania, three catches last week, and he reels in a 30-yard grab here to give Bentley a two-score lead once again here on third and six. Crane in the backfield. Scarpa looks to throw. Throw over the middle. It is going to be caught. Andy Cloto with a big hit, but reeling it in is Brendan Burke. Second big catch of the day for Burke. Third down and a long six. Scarper from the gun, looking to throw over the middle. It is caught. Myers for a first down. Make that Mahoney. So first and goal. And if Bentley does not convert here, we'll have the end of the third quarter, and the teams will switch ends. Scarpa, the give to Bannerman. No, he's going to keep it, and he's going to get blasted at the goal line, but finish the run for a score. Five-yard touchdown run for C.J. Scarpa. And the Falcons lead it by 20. Down to five. Gavalis has to get this snap off. He does in time. Here comes the rush. Gavalis throws to the far side. It is picked off. Picked off by Lamar Hardy. Racing down the sideline. Gavalis, the only man who can get him. And he will not. Or will he? They mark him down at the one. But uh, certainly a... Good performance today by the Falcons, especially on the offensive side of the football. Very efficient, especially on third down. Scarpa was 14 of 20 for 185 yards and two touchdowns. One catch each for Myers and Burke. Bannerman, Cran, and Scarpa each ran for a score.